Alright, so we're going to go check it all now and see how we're going. Um, so... Let's just check the steak real quick. And so with the steak, you really only want to flip it over once or twice. Otherwise it starts to go tough. So don't be flipping it all the time. The roux is a bit of a different story. It was a thin fillet. So you can flip him over. Um, the best way to test... There's a lot of juices coming out, but that's okay. You can just cut off this bit. And she's looking all cooked, so this one can come off and rest. Uh, the roux is going to definitely be done. Just cut him in half. And yep, she's all cooked, so the roux can come off. Let's check the fish. So the fish should be all white throughout. And you don't want to wreck the fish, however, you do have to check. So I'm just going to cut through the biggest bit. And you can see in there how it's all white. So you know the fish is done as well. So let's take him off. And the chicken. Make sure the chicken's not pink inside. But the chicken should be done as well. So you take the biggest bit, which is probably going to be this one here. And it's all cooked throughout. So that's done as well. Alright, so there you have uh, all of your different foods. You got your, your roux, your, your steak, which is a porterhouse or a sirloin. You got your two snapper fillets and um, your chicken tenderloins and you can make more keep it all in the fridge um, and that's you know a couple of days worth of food there um, no oil and just a little bit of seasoning so uh, any questions shoot me an email at lance at atwellfitness.com.au um, and yeah let me know how you go thanks